Question 3. Glycerol is a triol which used in the food industry and pharmaceuticals. Okay, so this is the structure of the glycerol. Undergo reaction 1 from P. After that, reaction 2 from Q. Okay, part 1. Suggest the reagents and conditions for reaction 1. Okay, so from the reaction 1, we know that there are few changes. Okay, this OH is going to undergo oxidation. This H and this H removed from the CO double bond. Okay, it's from this ketone. And this primary alcohol and this primary alcohol it will form COOH. So this is the oxidation. Okay, and we can use acidified KMNO4 or K2, Cr2, O7. Okay, these two can be used in your syllabus and must hit under reflux. Because hit under reflux, we can make sure all this alcohol fully oxidized. So heat under reflux is better. Okay, part two. Name the reactions of mechan. Uh, sorry, name the reaction mechanism for reaction two. Okay, reaction two. We know that when is the potassium or the sodium cyanide with HCN, so it's going to be uh, an addition, the nucleophilic addition. So we will form the these products. So this one, the name of the reaction mechanism must be nucleophilic addition. Part 3. Give the observation that you would make when 240 NPH added to P. P, this one. P is has carbonyl group. So it will form orange precipitate with 240 NPH orange or red precipitate okay part four q does not show optical isomerism why okay so let's look at whether it has chirocarbon or not this is not chirocarbon this is not chirocarbon this is not chirocarbon okay this carbon also cannot be chirocarbon because it has two same carboxylic acid group so very easy okay it does not have chirocarbon that's all okay part five when Q is heated with excess aqueous ethanoic acid in the presence of a catalyst, uh, so which is the H2SO4, two reactions take place to form R. So we know that uh, for the Q, this one is the Q. So it will undergo first, it will undergo hydrolysis here. And another one is going to happen here. The esterification the carboxylic acid means uh, the ethanoic acid is going to react with this alcohol group from this ester so you form two different groups now form ester here and form carboxylic acid okay this carboxylic acid again is from the hydrolysis of the nitrile and this ester is from the condensation or acidification reaction right this one and this one okay part b we have the nitroglycerin now c3h5n3o9 and this nitroglycerin decompose to form a few gases co2 h2o n2 o2 total mole uh, of the gas is 29 29 moles okay a sample of nitroglycerin decomposed releasing 1.06 dm cube of oxygen at 5850 kelvin and 1 times 10 power 5 pascal when they give you the all this information so you're going to use the combined gas law pv equal to nrt so from the PV equal to NRT, you need to find the mole of oxygen first. This one you cannot use molar volume because temperatures now is uh, different, right? So 
Therefore, to calculate the mole of oxygen, so it's equal to PV over RT, substitute the standard unit in the combined gas law. Pa uh, the pressure must be in Pascal, volume must be in meter cube. So we convert dm cube to meter cube times 10 power negative 3 okay, over the gas constant, which is 8.31, over the temperature, which is 850. So you get 0 0.015 mole of oxygen. So from this equation, we know that the nitroglycerin is, is 4 to 1 ratio to the oxygen. So means the nitroglycerin must be 4 times larger than oxygen. So here you just times 4. Once you get the most of the nitroglycerin, so you have to get the molar mass. Okay, the mass of the nitroglycerin they used is the mole that we calculate 0 0.06 times the molar mass. So we will get 13.62 gram. For part 2, calculate the total volume of gas released by this decomposition at this temperature and pressure. So very easy because we know that total gas mole is 29 and oxygen's already released 1.06. This is one mole only. One mole release this volume, 29 mole must be 29 times. So therefore it's 30.74. Okay, part C, we have this uh, compound for pentenoic acid, this one. Give the molecular formula for this for pentenoic acid. Very easy, just count the carbon number. Okay, it's a 5 carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hydrogen is 1, 2, 3. Here is 4, then another 1. So, uh, it's 8. Oxygen is 2. So, you get this, C5H8O2. Draw the repeat unit of the addition polymer formed by these monomers. Very easy, just open up this double bond. Okay, so and just put the tails there. So you get this repeat unit. Okay, now you have to uh, draw the mechanism. So the reactions between these uh, four pentenoic acid with the bromine. So first you need to put the dipoles on the bromine, partial positive and negative. Make sure the partial positive is near to the uh, this uh, compound. Okay, make sure you draw arrow from this double bond to the bromine which is partial positive and you must show the BRBR bond break here. Arrow from the bond point to the partial negative bromine. Okay, after that Okay, we know uh, this carbon form new bonding with bromine, so this one. Then the other carbons will form carbocation like this. So the bromide that leave just now, this one, mean this one. So if you attack this carbocation, make sure you draw this arrow from the lone pair. Must show one lone pair on bromine and charge negative. So arrow from this lone pair point to the carbocation so you get these products right total four marks if you follow what I what I uh, show here right so you can get all four marks okay part D a reactions of another unsaturated carboxylic acid T is shown T is one of the pair of geometrical isomers cistrans Okay, draw another geometrical isomer of T. Very easy. You just move the large group, the larger group here, okay, to another position. So you just shift this one to another place. So this is the okay, this one okay, is the another cis trans isomer of T. Okay, because the carbon now the groups okay they are at different sides. Okay, after that, after you draw this, uh, explain why the molecules exhibit this uh, form of isomerism. 
this one because this carbon and this carbon okay they both of this carbon they have the different groups this carbon is has one hydrogen one COOH this carbon is has C3H13 okay and the bromine so therefore okay it can form cis trans because of this this carbon has two different groups right so this is explanation and after you put there are two different group on the CC double bond on these uh, two carbons so you can further explain why it's formed cis trans why there is a cis trans and so on because okay the position of the groups means all these groups they are fixed or locked because there is a restricted rotations okay, about the CC double bond the CC double bond cannot be rotated that's why this all these positions they are fixed cannot move okay identify the reagent use convert T to U T to U so the double bond gets saturated we know that it must use H2 Okay, the last part, uh, this one is the uh, uh, IR spectrum. So I put the T and U here for you to uh, refer it okay. uh, easier. So now, uh, identify two other absorptions that would be seen in the IR uh, spectrum of T and U. Okay, T and U, they have the same groups, which is this and this. Okay, this one excluded because it say must above certain absorption. Okay, therefore we know that okay this one is a similarity. We have to uh, explain these two absorption. Right, so explain one by one. Okay, absorption one is what is uh, between one six seven zero to one seven four zero. Okay, wave number or per cm. Okay, so which indicates CO double bond in the carboxyl. Okay, you just follow the tables that are uh, given later. Okay, CO double bond in carboxyl. Right, so it's this value. So you need to just mention the absorption, range of absorption and the bonds. The range of absorption is this one. And the bonds is CO double bond, means the carbonyl groups okay, in carboxyl. Uh, you must mention this the carbonyl in carboxyl. Okay, absorption 2, we still use the COOH. CO already done. Now we just uh, try to explain OH. So, absorption 2 present in both extra is this one between 2500 to 3000 okay which indicates OH in carboxyl okay this one again 2500 to 3000 which indicates the OH bond in carboxyl okay, this is the similarities so what is the different okay one other absorptions that would only seen in the IR of T so only C means CC double bond confirm right so therefore you just need to mention the only absorption that we'll see in T is between 1500 to 1680 which indicates CC double bond in alkene here CC double bond in alkene right okay that's all for this Question. Thank you.